Hey there guys, it's Kage Tak coming at you for pretty much the conclusion of day one of Guild Wars. Seeing what's kind of new this season overall in terms of everything. There wasn't any physical changes. Again, I had mentioned in the previous video talking about participation. There is a new bug out there. And also we're just going to go over kind of our, our matching. Like this one I thought was going to be our toughest day one match ever. Because whenever you see like a cluster guild, like these guys, there's a bunch of guilds with them. There's others that, that have a bunch of different, you know, a bunch of guilds. And you just always assume, okay, wow, these guys have a plethora of knowledge. A bunch of veterans at their disposal were in for a fight. And, uh, yeah, no, not not the case at all. And, I mean, th does this technically count as seal clubbing? I mean, I, I know I like to joke about it, and people on Discord are like, well, you seal club. Well, it, am I seal clubbing an IVS guild now? Like, uh, I, I mean, let's, you know, let's look at this on paper here. I mean, on paper, they are six... 61 million power. I mean, their war ratings only 633. Fair enough. Okay. They're 188 in raid. I mean, their only real crime was they had one man down. They started at 29. And this this got me to thinking because somebody uh, on the Discord is like, well, we, we bounced back from, from our deficit. But yeah, you're like in Battlefield 4 or 5 where you can have situations where you have a power advantage or a defense advantage, depending on, you know, the D3 units you have at your disposal, D2s, and so forth. You don't have that here. And I think that's... I'd think about that. I was like, okay, why is it that if somebody comes at us with 29, their their chances are, are pretty much zero? And sure, this team here, they they did stuff that, like, normal, normal guilds do. They were attacking multiple lanes. They, they were just kind of all, all over the place. Um, they they waited too long to start using their tokens, you know, just all the the usual stuff that you see with with any other guild. I mean, if, if these guys didn't have IVS in front of their name, I I don't think we would have like taken them seriously. To be honest, no no disrespect to them. It's just I I see like a, a cluster guild logo. I I always assume it's go time. We're in for a real fight. And so far, every time that's happened, it's... Yeah. I mean, I don't remember if the previous IBS guild we fought did a bit better. I'd have to look through the records, but... Yeah, no. Yeah. But anyway, I mean... And as always, we've completely... You know, I, I can kind of show their layout. Well, I, I actually don't want it, but we wiped them out. We're, we're, we're clearing out, you know cleared out a couple more buildings, got some stuff done. I think they're still trying to make some last-minute plays here with literally, you know, minutes on the clock. But, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, again, it's like, yeah, we make jokes about the seal clubbing thing, but this isn't a seal clubbing guild that we're, you know, going against. These aren't seals. These, these are people in a pretty big cluster with a lot of high-ranking guilds at their disposal to help them. And, yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe they're a casual guild with the banner, but I, I feel like it's a big target on your back in this mode. Like, they, somebody sees this. Even if, like, you were a super casual guild and you had one of those prefixes next to your name, I would throw everything in the kitchen sink at you, which we're we may get a few more attacks in before the end here. We, we may not. We'll see. We're, I don't think we could take any more buildings down, but yeah. But I just wanted to get that out of the way right off the bat. It's like maybe in the higher divisions you can, you can get away with being down a man or two and and, and pulling, pulling it together and winning. But in these type of scenarios, if you're going to fight us, bring bring everybody. Come at us with even numbers because there there will be no mercy shown and I will I will throw everything at you if if you're associated with like a big guild. I mean 
I, I feel a little bad because I mean it's like I, I don't I don't know their structure I don't know you know where they're ranked I guess in the cluster but <sighs> that's well this is technically the uh, sixth or seventh cluster killed we've dunked on since we've been doing this so yeah just add them to the pile all right enough enough smack talking aside let's go to the an issue here that may or may not have affected their performance it affected ours a little bit and it may have affected yours too and that is this little situation here let's see if i can pull this up like this weirdness overall like what this whole thing with the ui design it's just very very weird Did, was everybody seeing this was was this just like an an ios thing like i'm a little confused on this one i'm hoping you know because this might get reported quickly that by the next war there'll be there'll be a quick hot fix they'll patch this and fix this but this was uh this was not an added feature i was excited about to be honest i was like uh yeah was wasn't uh wasn't wasn't fun i think that's about the only real real bug i've come across for this mode i know once in a while somebody will crash or something that's that could be a one-off from a device issue but this is like this this happened to me this happened to a bunch of people i think it was building specific or or map specific but just yeah no was was not a was not a good time with that so but yeah, other than that, I, I mean, I'm going to keep an eye on the participation for the next round, see if it improves. But um, yeah, I, I don't I don't know, because the matchmaking still, to me, it seems wonky, because these guys, they play 600-something last season. So there was no way they had, like, a similar record to ours of a clean sweep, yet they got thrown against us, which I... I know the first round is probably just based on enlistment power, but even with them having the advantage in that regard, them being down a man didn't help them overall because their their total power was 8.1. Ours is like 8.6. And even if they had that additional man, there it was for like a uh, silver to bronze setup. So, I mean, it only would have pushed them up by maybe another... 100k so maybe they'd be 8.2 8.3 so I, I don't know i, I may, maybe they maybe they need to try and, and match it based more on defensive power as i know I, somebody's on the discord has mentioned that a couple of times but with how the matchmaking can break if you can't find somebody that fits that criteria it, it could end up with with us fighting like absolute you know people who, who can't even like defend against us like you know one million power defense setups or something that's that's my only concern with that that system if we change the parameters and it, and it gets a lot more tighter or closer it's it's gonna you know make some really wonky fights that i mean at least these guys i know i, I say they didn't have a real chance which i, I I think they believe that too because they you know they have 120 something tokens left on the board but yeah i i can't i can't blame them i mean i got a lot of feedback on that last video and you know that looking at it it doesn't make a lot of sense for people who aren't competitive to want to really push into this mode or do anything and you've got now people who are competitive having to find new guilds or remove those people and it's created a whole new dynamic so i mean i feel like a lot of people have been affected by this and it's you know i've had turnover from it i i lose at least one person a season it happens you know i i push i push decently hard on people because i i want to win and i know we can win and you know our streak is over 30 plus at this point I'm gonna get so much hate for all the smack I'm talking this round. I am, I am, I don't apologize for any of it. And if you do want to say something messed up, I totally deserve it. And you know, go for it. as long as the YouTube filter doesn't filter you out. I don't care. But I don't know. I, I had, I had fun. I, I, I enjoy. It. I mean, again, you, you can't say 
we were this was a seal we clubbed here. This I mean, I mean I guess you could. I mean I, I guess you could but then, you know, that opens up a whole nother argument on the the validity of these cluster guilds and the value they bring people, which whew, let's let's not have a conversation about that. That could get very heated really quickly. <laughs> Uh, I do laugh because several several of them approached me and tried to get me into the whole fold. I'm like, no, I, I'm my own nation. I'm my own island. I, I run my own show. I I do my own thing. I I am only accountable to myself. So, uh, yeah, no thank you. Yeah, if they add alliances in, we'll take a look at that and we'll, we'll see the value of it from there. But right now it's like... Eh, it, I I see very little value in it, and I, I I don't know. I just like again, it's it's like adding an extra target on your back or making people go, oh, we gotta really fight now. These guys, these guys are part of that group, and, and then you just you either get like the A team or the the D team, and you just punch through them. So ah well, anyway, other than that, I mean. I am hoping next season they make some real changes. I would like, and again, I reiterate this almost on a daily, I would love to have the cap in Battlefield 3 lowered to D1. If you lower that cap, I will gladly move on up. I will not move up to a D3 cap. I am sorry. I do not have enough D3 units for that. Heck, I, I'd be sacrificing. I mean, I don't even think I have enough combination of diamond and gold units for that. I mean, you know see what I'm working with here I mean and I'm on like the accelerator course I've thrown in some decent amount of money since I've been here and you know most of my guys are in a similar situation so again when people are like you should move up uh yeah no uh what I'm gonna keep winning uh, I will I'll take I'll, I'll keep winning for 500 Alex sorry but I moved up when the uh situation was correct when they took away D3 units from Battlefield 2, moved on up. If they take away D3 and, and D2 units from Battlefield 3, I will gladly move on up again. Because I am okay with fighting on even footing. Sadly, we don't get that too often. I mean, I think I've only... You know, out of every guild we've beaten, I think I've only fought five guilds that had the full 30 and out of those five only two of them two were were like you know gun ho about this mode and and they were really on their a game so yeah and then there's one guild that didn't even have 30 and was very impressive i remember remember those guys they were i'd have to go back and, and look at their name but they they gave a good fight they they put some real thought into their defenses. I mean, we had some trouble wiping them out. Like even these guys here, despite the fact that we you know still wiped them out and everything, the credit I will give them is it took us like 20 more tokens than usual to get our wipe out. So you know they did have some maybe they had some help from from their cluster information for the the defenses, but just having a defense only takes you so far. You need to be able to punch as well as block and. These guys could only block. So, anyway, with that being said, I'm going to be very, very curious to see how our matchmaking goes for the next round. If it's something good, I'll do another video. If, if, it's, if it's just like a dud, I, I probably won't bother, to be honest. I, I'm, I get more energized and, and like talking about this stuff when I fight a real opponent or think I fight a real opponent. Oh, I'm going to get so much hate for this, and I love it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Kage 2 IVS 0. There you go. That's the headliner. Anyway, with that being said, I will catch you on the next one, guys. We'll be having the comparison video for Survival coming up, I think, soon. I think Survival's going to be ending here in, in a bit. Yeah, I mean, we got a day left on Survival, so... I'll be looking to get the usual results when that starts to wind down and we'll we'll go about and and do a comparison video on that and I've got a very completely different perspective on this one that yeah no 
I've got an interesting perspective on this one. So when we get into that, we'll get into it. But otherwise, thank you again for watching. I will catch you on the next one. And uh, well, I guess I'll be seal clubbing away, boys. Peace.